posteriormente venir con nosotros. Así que, por favor, eh, para que le diga a Jamaica la primera pregunta. Robert, you first. Ok, coach, uh, victory for Jamaica puts Jamaica at the top of the standings, leading only a drawn out big progress. Your thoughts on what about this after this season? I think we knew it was going to be a tough game. But the environment, I thought the crowd was fantastic, great atmosphere. That's what football is about. Um, it's a difficult opponent, uh, well coached, uh, very possession based, created opportunities, I didn't quite have the finish. We defended very well. And on a difficult surface, which we've not played and not used to, um, I've got to credit the players uh, for the mentality because uh, everything's against you. I'm not saying the officials also, but we had our moments. Um, so I'm pleased with the performance, the result, and um, where, we go, where we are at the top of the league. We need to do a job on Monday and to continue the, the development of the identity which we have, uh, keep the spirit, Congratulations to Michael Aguilar for a very good performance. But just in the end, the quality in the, in the penalty box that we had was the game. Bueno, uh, prácticamente eh, sabíamos que iba a ser un partido muy difícil, muy complicado, muy gran oponente, la verdad que tiene un buen coach que lo está manejando, my manager. La presión fue bastante, sin embargo, el ambiente fue increíble, la gente que se reunió, la verdad que era una muy impactante, sin embargo, sabíamos que teníamos que hacer lo que teníamos que lograr. Uh, al fin y al cabo, la calidad, el área del punto penal se logró notar y por eso que logramos el partido. Tenemos bastante ánimo, bastante espíritu de conseguirlo, de ir adelante. El lunes nos toca un partido más con Honduras, algo muy complicado y tenemos ese, ese ánimo de seguir adelante. Estamos encima de la, de la liga, arriba, pero hay que seguir adelante y continuar, que es lo que estamos buscando. Marco Mancilla. Eh, buenas noches para el Mister. A pesar de que se lleva la victoria a Jamaica, no hubo un claro dominio. Nicaragua hizo 17 disparos, eh, 6 directos, buenas salvadas del portero. Eh, ¿Se va contento usted con el desempeño de su equipo? ¿O por ahí esos dos errores puntuales de Nicaragua en la marca eh, fue la diferencia? ¿Qué cree usted que lo pasó? Eh, ¿O cuál es lo que va a meditar de lo que pasó en la noche de hoy? All right, so despite, uh, Nicaragua had 17 shots, mm -hmm. six of them to the to the goalie. And despite all of that, analyzing the game and what will happen afterwards, what do you think uh, happened to Nicaragua to the downfall? And secondly, what do you think you guys need to improve on? I think um, we want to build a possession game. Um, we didn't we quite have that. I think the surface was difficult. It was a while to get used to that. I think the first half, especially the second half, were a lot more composed um, and controlled the game better. Um, the difference is in each penalty area. We had quality, uh, a couple of good wins, um, we scored, and we had opportunities. We blocked, we headed away. And Andre made a fantastic save at the end. Because if that had gone in, then the last five minutes would have been very, very tense. Bueno, a pesar de todo, nosotros intentamos hacer un partido de composición. Nicaragua tuvo mucho mayor dominio en esa parte. Sin embargo, nosotros teníamos una calidad. André hizo una excelente atajada al final. Que si no había pasado así, realmente los últimos cinco minutos deben ser más intensos. También teníamos la desventaja de la superficie. Estamos acostumbrados en la primera parte de nuestro Listen, uh, 24 hours ago, you were not eligible to take the field for Jamaica. Fast forward, you, were, you became eligible, got your clearance, got a taste of the action, came out on a winning team. Talk to us about the anticipation and the execution. Yeah, um, just like, like I said, 24 hours ago, I wasn't sure if I did. 
I was born off this game, but I came in um, the gap for the, the, the squad. I've been walking and it feels like I've been here a very long time. I'm very excited for the game, whether people just watching or whether I can be part of it. And uh, luckily, my clearance came through in time to, to come on. And I think uh, in that kind of situation, um, my experience playing those kind of games has helped can help the local out of games. I think um, it's something that I want. Uh, I relish and look forward to playing on it for being part of the chief. But I think the lads that are out there have been developed the best. Small fouls, accidental fouls, but not worse than they possibly are. 
Um, I didn't think, in my opinion, that we got the fair share of the uh, decisions. Uh, but we had to live with that. And it's one of the things we said before the game. Uh, the players uh, and the coach, emotional control was important. And uh, we demonstrated, I think, in the second half, tremendous emotional control. Despite the environment, the field, uh, everything, for instance, uh, the spirit of the team, so on so Sin embargo, considero que debido a la cancha, el tipo de terreno que estábamos jugando, hubo ciertas jugadas que causaban ciertas decisiones. Uh, pero de nuevo, no estoy aquí para realmente opinar de eso. Estamos aquí para ver cómo se desempeñó el partido, el juego. El, el equipo tuvo una excelente dinámica, un excelente espíritu. Y al fin y al cabo, de mi punto de vista, no creo que nos hayamos llevado las mejores de las decisiones arbitrales. Pero nuevamente, es un partido de fútbol y se desarrolla de esa manera. Yeah. Mace, can you talk about how welcoming the, the players, the staff and of course the fans have been on social media towards you coming to Jamaica and settling in with the squad? Yeah, it's been, it's been great. Like I said, I said to the to boss last night before my players even came through. Um, it feels like I've been here a very, very long time. But for me, I've been in the league, so there's a few of the boys that I've played against and a few that I knew coming in. Um, but like I said, it feels like I've been here for years. And it's, it's a very welcoming group and not only that the fans have been great with me, I think the fans have been great with me before I, before I even came for a very long time. And so to be able to finally get everything sorted and be able to get out there and wear, wear the kit and be part of the team properly is, is something that I'm very, very proud of and I'm sure the fans will be as well. I think it's something that we really push for as well. So I want to thank the JFF board, the president, um, Roy Simpson, because I've been pestering them for a long, long, long time, the last few weeks, to make sure that we, we bring in the likes of, of Mason, of that quality of experience, because we needed that to make. Without Casey Palmer, without Michael Antonio, who got injured uh, last night, uh, not making the field against Cruz, but we got injured. Um, we had to deal with that, so we needed Mason to make it. Me sentí muy acogido por los 